How's it going everybody? Dylan here with Mountain Country Outdoors and I want to share a story with you guys today about this mule deer right here. Look at that giant mule deer. He's hanging up there next to my 350 plus bull. Got a turkey fan up there and then we have just a smaller mule deer over here. But this thing right here is over 100 years old. It was shot, I mean, look at that thing. It's just massive, but this was shot by my great, great grandfather. So my grandpa's grandpa. And it was hanging up in my grandfather's basement for years. And uh, it's cool. It's awesome that I have a, a connection with the past generations of my family. And I know that we've been hunting for generations, but I have no idea what the story behind this deer is. I don't know who exactly was hunting. I know it was my great, great grandfather, but I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even know his name. I don't know what he was hunting with. I don't know who he was hunting with. I've heard two different stories about where it was shot, either on the mountain in my hometown or on the mountain where I went to college. It was really cool. It was either one of those two places, but I don't know. And uh, so the reason I wanted to share this story with you guys is because this bull right here, I journaled the entire hunt, actually the entire season that I was hunting that, that bull. And it would mean so much to me to know the story behind this deer. Could you imagine five generations ago, your great, great grandfather shot this deer and you have the full story of it. You know exactly where he shot it. You know who he was with, what he shot it with, what his tactics were, what the weather was like, like all of the details of that five, a hundred years ago, this thing is a hundred years old. Uh, man, it would mean so much to me. And obviously it's really cool that I have this, but man, if I could know the story behind it, like my grandpa probably knew more about it, but he didn't know the full story and he's passed away now. And all we have left is this awesome mount. So this is one of the main reasons that inspired us to create this guided hunting journal, because I realized through having this mount hanging on the wall, how important and invaluable it would be for the future generations of my family to know my hunting stories. I mean, I just think it would be so cool to know everything about that deer. And so, you know, when I shot this elk, I hunted so much that season and I learned so much. And that's the other reason that we created this guided hunting journal. So we can document all of our experiences. We can read back through them year after year. We record our tips and tricks, what worked, what didn't. And then when we go out next year, and I'm chasing bulls like this, I probably won't mess up on them a whole bunch like I did that year. I mean, I hunted, I probably hunted 30 days that year before I got that elk and I learned a ton about elk hunting. I wrote it all down. And now someday when this thing is a hundred years old and I'm gone and one of my great, great grandchildren has it that doesn't even know my name, he's gonna know my name. He's gonna know who I was hunting with. He's gonna know the whole story behind it. Maybe he'll even get to hunt that same area that I shot that elk and get his own out of there. So I just, and, and he'll have all my tips and tricks. Think about that too. So I just really wanted to share that story with you guys because that's the two main, two main reasons that we started this company and we started this journal so that we could explore and share our memories throughout our life and on, into future generations and learn from all of our hunting experiences. So guys, it's almost hunting season. For some of you, it's already started. We've already got archery antelope hunting going on out here in Wyoming. So make sure you go over to mtncountryoutdoors.com, Mountain Country Outdoors, and pick up your guided hunting journal today, okay? You might be young like me, you might have a lot of years left and you can remember your stories well, but you won't remember them all forever. And your kids sure won't remember the stories, so write them down and, and give future generations of your family and other hunters the opportunity to know what hunting was like for you back then, which is right now for us, right? But it could change so much. And, who even knows if our grandchildren will be hunting? So I think it's more important now than, than ever for us to record these memories. So make sure before hunting season starts, you pick up your guided hunting journal at mtncountryoutdoors.com and record your memories so, they, so that they can last forever and record your experiences so that you can learn from them year after year and become an expert, successful hunter. Wish you guys the best this season. We'll catch you in the next video.